Hey pilots, Drain Man here and today I have a very special video. Today we are going to check out the all new H7 Extreme Zero. This is a brand new flight controller from Seriously Pro Racing and what's super cool about this flight controller is he has taken the time to listen to the guys that don't need all the extra nonsense and what he did is he put together a flight controller with all the super awesome specs of the H7 Extreme with zero BS. Alright pilots, so diving right in, this is the SP Racing H7 Zero. If you're not familiar with the H7 boards, you might have heard of the F7 boards or an F4 board and what that's referring to is the microcontroller that's on the board. And this board right here really raises the bar because there is a, a CPU or microcontroller that's on here that's called an H7. And it really pushes the bar and the reason why is because it literally computes at double if not triple the speed of an F7 flight controller. If you'll notice the CPU is actually very very large but who cares we've got the space on the board now let's use it. This thing is so fast I don't think we'll ever have to upgrade from a CPU like this ever again. People want to get out of F4s and get into F7s skip the F7 go straight to the H7 this thing is phenomenal if you don't know anything about them I've actually got a full review it's a quite a long video but it breaks down everything that have to do with the H7 extreme uh, full-size board and he also has nano boards if you're into micros and things like that so he's got you covered but this one here is the H7 Zero. What I absolutely love about this board is he's listened to the guys that are interested in not spending a ton of money to get in the air but still have an H7 on their flight controller. Alright pilots here is your H7 CPU right here and you can see the size of this thing it's actually quite large and I'm going to give you a quick comparison I don't want to spend a lot of time on this because if you're interested in this other board I have a full full review on it but if that doesn't give you a general idea that is the original H7 Extreme and this is the H7 Zero. The H7 Extreme comes in at about 65, 70 bucks, somewhere around there. The H7 Zero, which is this flight controller right here, comes in at about 50, 55 bucks. So it is cheaper to get yourself an H7 and get all that processing power plus all the awesome stuff that comes with this board you do get. The only thing that you are not getting, and the reason why you're not getting it is because a lot of guys don't use this stuff, so they've decided to drop it off, save you a little money, why buy the stuff if you're not using it? That is your PDB, your PID Audio, I know I said PID Audio, so if you're not familiar with this board, your mind might be blown a little bit right now. And what the PID Audio is, is it was actually a microphone on board that listens to your PID controller and you can listen to that feed in your ear via your headsets. It's super freaking amazing. Now you also do not have the dual gyro and you also do not have the microphone transponder or the current sensor and I know, I know that some of those things we really like to have on board but hey man if I can save 20 bucks or better why not? All right, on board we have a BMP388 barometer sensor. What that is, is that's this little tiny guy right here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it is among the newer barometers. It's got more power, it's less sensitive, it is more accurate, and it's actually less sensitive to drift than normal borrows. If you want altitude related features, this is the barometer to have. If you're interested in your OSD, you have your Betaflight OSD right here. You've got a couple different buttons. For your memory, you have an onboard memory. And on here, your onboard memory is 128 megabytes. It's huge. And then you have an SD, micro SD card slot right here if you wanted to add more and then you can make the choice however you'd like to store the logging or information however you would like. 
One thing very particular, something very, very cool, is that this actually has the power to store and hold information. So you take your SD card, you can put actual coding onto it, and you can put that into here, and your H7 will read that. So what does that mean? That means if you wanted to flash this board, you can put the new firmware on an SD card, put it in this slot, and this flight controller will literally flash itself. I know, it's freaking bananas. You don't lose anything when you're talking about your VTX, you've got all your same stuff, your smart audio, anything like that. It has all the capabilities to run anything like that that you throw at it. Something else too is your voltage regulators. These are very important. You've got three designated voltage regulators on your payroll when you're rocking this board. And one of them is to your gyro, one of them is to your CPU and other peripherals, and that makes this thing truly freaking awesome. Wait a minute, you're telling me this thing has eight motor outputs? So what if I wanna run eight motors? Well go ahead, Drain Man, run all eight motors. Who cares? Six serial ports? You're telling me that on this flight controller right here that there is six UARTs. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. That means you can run GPS, you can run a buzzer, you can run a this, you can run a that, you can run it all. You've got six UARTs, there ain't nothing you ain't putting on this board, and one really cool thing about it is, it ain't gonna slow your CPU down because that thing is H7. Check this out, if I flip this board over, I'm gonna blow your mind, I want you to watch closely. You put all of the solder pads on one side. Why would you put all the solder pads on one side? Oh, well, Drain Man, Mr. Dominic Clifton, he put all the solder pads on one side because what if you mount your board this way because that's how it's designed. So you mount your board this way and now you don't got to take your quad apart to do anything. Your wire lengths, get them perfect every time. This is really awesome. I love what he's doing. This is the guy that created Clean Flight. Shout out to Dominic. Great guy. He's really innovative. He's pushing the bar on all this stuff. And he's even taking the time to listen to the guys who don't want to spend so much money on a dang flight controller, which I do understand. The H70, it allows you to get the best of both worlds. You get the H7 and everything great that comes with it, but you get to pay less for it. Can't beat that. There's a bunch of other circuitry and all kinds of other stuff. You've got three LEDs, one for five volt, three volt, and then you've even got one as a status light. You've got a boot button and a bind button. I mean, you've got tons of stuff. I'm not gonna go over it all. And I'm also seeing, I do wanna point this out for my techs and my nerds. Right here, you've got two Talantalum capacitors, and those are right by your OSD, and that ain't for no reason. All right, pilots, if you are interested in this board, I will put a link down in the video description where you can get this board. I will put a link also to its predecessor, which is the H7 Extreme. That is the full size, no zero. It's got all the perky turkeys on it, and you can fly that mofo if you want to. I will put that link down in the video description as well, both to buy it and both to check out the review. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you on the next one.